When Choco Chicken created chocolate fried chicken and wouldn't give us the top secret recipe, we just knew we had to recreate it on our own, but now they're here to let us in on their secret to one of their most popular items on the menu, buffalo cauliflower. On Eat the Trend, we find the latest food crazes, the hottest hybrids, and the most amazing culinary creations and show you how to recreate them at home. I'm here with Choco Chicken owner Keith Previtt. Keith, we are so excited to have you here. All right, let's talk about this. First of all, what is this? This looks like my favorite game day dishes, buffalo wings, but this is actually all vegetarian, right? It is, it's our uh, buffalo cauliflower and we do a version of it that tastes a lot like your traditional uh, buffalo wings that you would have at any normal sports bar, but ours is a little bit different and obviously it's, it's all vegetarian. Yum, and I've had this before, it tastes just like buffalo wings. Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna melt some butter here, so we're gonna get our sauce going. So, mm -hmm. and the sauce will stay good in your refrigerator for at least a week, possibly even you know, 10 days or so. And then we like to use at the restaurant, we like to use Gindo's hot sauce. You can use any hot sauce that you like personally, um, but we like Gindo's. Um, and then we're gonna add that in there. We're gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce in there as well. All right. And All right. stir away. All right, and that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it, stir it up. All right, Keith, the sauce looks amazing. What's next? All right, great, so now we got the sauce done. Now we're gonna put our little magic rub on it. This is sort of a dusting that you're gonna put on the cauliflower before we roast it. To the salt, we're gonna add the cumin. Mm -hmm. Throw that in there. We've got garlic powder. All right. We've got onion powder. Wow. It's good stuff. We got smoked paprika, mustard powder, and a little bit of cayenne to have a little nice, nice little zip to it. So just like when you're making buffalo wings, we're layering the flavors. La so this is going right. to be like the dry rub. That's right. We we don't do anything different. You know, just like in the chicken, where it's the the flavors are layered. It's just not one thing. It it, it goes through as it goes into your into your palate into your into your mouth. So we have our dry rub. And then we have our cauliflower. Right, so here's our here's our florets of cauliflower. They're ready to go. We're gonna hit them with the dry rub on this and then we're gonna put them in the oven, roast them for about 250 degrees for about 10 minutes or so, you'll be ready to go. So give them a healthy dusting. There's no reason to to, uh, to back off. So right. um, get a nice little flavor to them. So we're roasting the cauliflower first just until it's al dente. Then exactly. we're gonna fry it. Then we're gonna fry it, exactly. That's why you want the al dente so you still have a lot of firmness to it when you stick it in the fryer. Great. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Perfect. And now Good. we're going to put it in this. Now what is this? This is a paprika buttermilk that you can soak the cauliflower in. And the great thing about it is, uh, if you're not using it right away, you can soak it for two, three days in the refrigerator and it's still really good and it just absorbs all that great flavor. I was about to say, so I know buttermilk really tenderizes chicken, but for the cauliflower, you just want to soak up all that nice, mm. tart, sour absolutely. buttermilk yes, flavor. Yes, absolutely, yep. Just again, we're adding wow. more layers of flavor to, to, to the dish. Okay. Mix it all in. Great. And then what are we gonna be frying this in? We're gonna be frying it in vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're gonna coat it with our with our flour here. And like I told you, we we're talking earlier, I was explaining the joys of Wondra as a flour, and it's just it's a it's a more processed flour that gives a much more even coating. It almost looks like it's been, it's been sifted like yeah, ten thousand exactly. times. Exactly. Same really thing your gra yeah, your grandmother uses it for Thanksgiving gravy, so you know it's good. So this is gonna produce a nice skin to the cauliflower that's really gonna mimic that fried chicken. Absolutely. Okay, so I have this right here. Yes. Take off all the excess, and now we're gonna yep. fry it in our oil, yep. just until it's golden brown. Just until golden brown, absolutely. We just wanna get it crispy on the edge of this, uh, on the edge and the outside. Beautiful. So while that's frying up, I love the sauce that you guys serve with the cauliflower. Yes. And it's so simple, I had no idea. It's as easy as you could do it. So it's literally ranch and blue cheese, just yes. give it a stir. Yep, as easy as can be. All right, so our cauliflower is nice and crispy. Perfect, good. So now we're just gonna put it onto a plate lined with a paper towel. Yep. Drain all the excess. And then now yep. we get to toss it in that sauce that we Now you get made. your buffalo sauce. You get your buffalo okay. sauce ready to go and just put that in there and toss it all together. Oh my God, this is the best part. When I first tried this, I literally could not believe that I wasn't eating chicken. Well, that's the whole thing. I mean, we want to give, you know, we like versatility and, you know, you got to have something that's, you know, cool dish that's, you know, sports oriented and, and game day oriented, but, you know, it's healthy for you as well. well. Especially on game day when you're already having the burgers, the hot yeah, dogs. This is already, such a great appetizer. That's right. And it doesn't fill you up and you can still drink all the beer that you like all day long. Oh my God, yes. Okay, I cannot wait to try this. And you can even serve good, it with good. even more buffalo sauce. Yes. And the dip. Okay, okay, here, let me get there you this. There you go. There you go. Oh my God, I'm getting the bigger piece, sorry. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, oh my God. Keith, this is so incredible. I love the crunch that you get. 
from frying that cauliflower, but it's meaty just like chicken, and yes. the sauce has an incredible zing. This is seriously my new favorite appetizer. I like them. Well, I'm such a meat eater, and I don't miss chicken at all with this dish. Great. Thank you so Good. much for teaching us how to make buffalo cauliflower. Thank you for having us. And thank you for watching. I'm Brandy, and we'll see you next time we eat the trend on Pop Sugar.